Alfa Romeo have taken the covers off their new 2021 car, the Ferrari-powered C41, at a virtual event in Warsaw. I'm Thomas Marr, be sure to like and subscribe for the very latest Formula 1 news. Alfa Romeo's new C41 has been revealed. The Sauber team, which operates the entry for Alfa Romeo, revealed their new car at a virtual event in Warsaw in Poland, which is home of title sponsor PKN Orlen. The presentation was held in the Grand Theatre in Warsaw and was attended by team personnel Frederick Vasseur and technical director Jean Monchot. Race drivers Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi were joined by reserve driver Robert Kubica as they took the covers off the new Ferrari-powered Alfa. It's the last confirmed year of the Alfa Romeo and Sauber partnership and the C41 shows off a revised red and white livery compared to the past two seasons. As with all the fields this year, the C41 is an evolution of the 2020 C39, with many components carried over from last year. Moncho confirmed the main areas of development have been on the front suspension and nose cone, similar to the work carried out by Alpha Tauri. Alpha used up their two allocated performance tokens on this area, with more work going into the floor and diffuser to claw back some of the lost downforce due to the tweaked aero regulations for this season. The 2021 car will be powered by an all-new Ferrari engine and will hit the track for the first time on Friday. The team are holding a shakedown filming day in Barcelona at the Circuit de Catalunya that's ahead of pre-season testing in Bahrain from the 12th to the 14th of March. Let's hear from the race drivers Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi. Uh, obviously we knew each other a little bit with Antonio from... from Ferrari days and uh, so it was let's say quite easy when we started to be teammates and obviously more years you always spend more I guess we know each other and you know we always I think in our on my side at least we always had a very good relationship and we had a good fun so obviously I think the main thing is we try to do hopefully have a better results than last year as a team as uh, both drivers and uh, take the team more forward, but uh, that will we will see later on how it is with all the all the changes that happened over the over the uh, winter. Two full season with the team. I uh, mean, uh, mean already you know that I know much better the people in the team, uh, so I can work better with them. Uh, of course, you know the target is still uh, still the same with them. So scoring a lot of points together. Uh, my dream is, you know, uh, that maybe we can score a podium together. So this is our uh, our target so far. You know, we need to see first where uh, where we are in terms of uh, performance and speed. But um, I'm sure that we can do really well this year. Let's hear Robert Kubica's thoughts ahead of the 2021 season, where he'll serve as reserve driver for Alfa Romeo. My role in uh, within the team is is quite clear. Uh, you could see me. Last year, during some FP1s uh, on Fridays, uh, I did some testing uh, pre-season in, in Barcelona. And of course, uh, we start working on our simulator as uh, uh, simulators are becoming uh, more and more important. Uh, but it's a relatively new tool for uh, Hinville based team. Uh, so uh, we are, let's say, improving uh, that sector. But of course, uh, the most important ones are what is happening on track. So. Uh, uh, I think uh, my position will be exactly the same, so uh, uh, you can uh, hopefully expect me uh, in the car, uh, although uh, winter testing are reduced as well uh, from four days to three days, so uh, there is less time uh, for uh, race drivers to, to prepare for an uh, upcoming season. Uh, and it's also, you know, uh, it's quite important to actually get a feel for me uh, what the new car will be and uh, how it will feel, uh, especially uh, in the, let's say, later phase of our simulator work, uh, where we hope uh, one day we will be good enough uh, to, to use it as a technical and powerful tool. Here's team boss Frederic Vasseur as he explains the expectations and targets being set for 2021. Yeah, we will carry over in 2021 the same philosophy of the car but with a new regulation on the aero package. It means that we have to come back into the wind tunnel and to do development uh, to stick to the new regulation. Uh, but the big change uh, in terms of philosophy of the car will arrive for 2022 and the team in terms of development will be focused on the 2022 project quite soon into the season. Yeah, that uh, I think the philosophy of the team is always the same, that we have to do a better job tomorrow than today. It means that uh, we were P8 this season, we have to target to do a better result for next year.
And finally, let's hear from Technical Director Jean Monchot as he explains the technical changes on the C41. Well, the C41 is actually sharing a lot of uh, common parts to the C39, simply due to the, the regulations that were voted a bit in a hurry during the, the uh, 2020 years and the corona uh, situation. So some parts had to be frozen like uh, um, the chassis, we decided to freeze the chassis uh, to carry over the gearbox and, and many other elements like the cooling system. Um, the regulation allowing you to uh, invest so-called two token in larger change, which we decided to uh, invest in the nose, so we have a new nose. Uh, but once you have burned your two token, uh, a lot of other parts had to be frozen. So it's uh, it's quite unusual for Formula One that during the winter we are not redoing the entire car. It was uh, mainly driven by, by the regulation, uh, which which are prohibiting this to, to also keep the cost under control in this uh, special year that 2020 and 2021 are. We, we are finishing the car now, so we will go to the track. We will hopefully be able to, uh, uh, as I said before, to tick off the box that our expectations are, are matching reality, um, or reality matches our expectations. Um, but there will certainly be um, issues uh, to be tackled. Uh, I expect on the drivability side that maybe uh, the driver will be uh, complaining about some characteristic uh, affecting the, the, the balance of the car and their confidence in the car, which then clearly will be somehow in what we can, we will try to, uh, to tackle for, for, for the coming season. Um, in terms of pure development, we are planning uh, updates during the season. It is certainly going to be less um, than in, in previous year. Uh, simply because we know it's the last year of uh, the actual regulation. Uh, 2022 is, uh, is, uh, is a revolution for, for F1. We've got to redo a complete car and it's also a great opportunity for a team like we or the midfield teams to, to do, if they do properly their homework, to, to be closer to the, to the front uh, from the onset of the, of the new reg. So it is no secret that we are certainly going to favor more the C42, so the 2022 car development during 21, than, uh, than developing until Abu Dhabi on the, this actual car, because having a budget cap, having a, restrict, a limited resource, the more we put in the 21 car, the less we'll be able to put in the 22 car, and the 22 car is, is really, the, the, for us, it's a big, big milestone. That's it from me for the moment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Thomas Marr on F1.